everyone, it's Trisha. Welcome to the Bikami channel. Today, I'll be showing you how I did this cute summer cut crease look using affordable drugstore products. You can rock this look when you want to look extra and cute on your summer outings. This look is also perfect for your Instagram hashtag summer MOTD. Before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to Bikami YouTube channel. So yeah, if you want to know how I did this fun look, then keep watching! Start off with a clean face before applying makeup. Never skip moisturizing your skin, especially since it's already summer. I use my all time favorite Nature Republic Aloe Vera Gel, then let it dry for a minute. Then I take my quick FX No Shine Mattifier Primer and apply it to the areas where I need to fill up my pores since it's silicone based. This is actually my go to primer because it's super cheap price. This sachet costs less than 100 pesos. For the brows, I'm doing straight Korean brows for that youthful look. Then I apply this brow mascara that matches my hair color. We're gonna clean up and sculpt the brows using this concealer from NYX. Now I'm taking this infallible pro matte foundation in the shade 104. We're going to cover my entire face and neck with it. Now with NYX's wonder stick, I'm gonna cream contour the perimeters of my face. I never skip contouring because it gives more dimension to my flat and wide face. Then highlight and conceal with Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand. This is also one of the best concealers I've ever tried plus the price is unbelievably cheap. I mix the light shade on top to brighten my face a little bit more. Then I blend it again with the same sponge. Now to set everything in place, I'm baking the areas where I get oily. Then powder contour using the contour shade from Wet n Wild Dulce de Leche Palette. I top off the excess powder since this product has lots of kick-offs when you dip your brush onto it. But I super love this contour powder. Then I set the rest of my face with a light shade from the palette. Moving on to the eyes, I'll be using this peach palette from BYS. This will be my first time using it, so I'll give you some of my first impressions with it. I'll start off with the shade Enticing. I'll buff that onto my crease as a transition shade with a fluffy brush. I'll layer it with the shade Lovish. It's a pretty coral orange shade. I switch to a shader brush to intensify Lovish more onto the crease. Cut the crease above your real crease if your eyes are hooded like mine, but if your eyes are deep set, then you can cut it on your real crease. Next, I highlight the brow bone with the matte dainty shade. Back to the lavish shade, I gently tap it onto my outer crease. This shade is a lot chalkier than the rest, so I noticed that the color fades too quickly. I had to reapply a lot, but it gets patchy when you add layers and layers on it. Which is kind of a bummer because I love this shade a lot. I want a softer look so I decided to use a brown shade onto my liner instead. I'm using NYX's brown marker. Now I'm just using the same shades that we used earlier for the lower lash line. I'm applying this K palette liquid eyeliner as close as possible to my lash line to define my eyes a little bit more. I line my outer and inner parts of my waterline using a brown pencil eyeliner. I want my eyes to pop a little bit more without looking too much, so I put on some nude pencil eyeliner on the center only. Using this shade from NYX's palette, I'm gonna highlight the inner corners of my eyes and brow bone. Then with my favorite Peripera Pearly Night Liquid Glitter and a super tiny detail brush, I'm gonna apply that onto my fake crease line. Then I decided that I want to add more peach shade, so I take this honest shade blush from Everbelena. Now curl the lashes, then apply a generous coat of mascara. Defined lower lashes makes such a huge difference. For the falsies, I'm gonna put on some glue first. This glue is like the best I've ever tried. It's originally a glitter glue from Glamour Face and Body Art, but yeah, this is my holy grail lash glue. 
Never forget the tight line when you have falsies on because it will make your lashes look more fuller and natural. Plus, it's gonna look weird if you don't. Now I'm putting on some black liquid eyeliner because the lashes were too long for me and the inner part is kind of floating so we're gonna conceal that with this trick. Now let's brush off the excess powder on my face using the light shade on the Wet n Wild contour palette. Then I'm gonna define the nose even further with the contour shade. I like to put on some shadows under my mouth and to my filth room too. For the blush, I'm using Everblena's Honest Shade. We're gonna top that onto the apples of the cheeks. Then I switch to a big fluffy blending brush to put some blush onto my nose bridge too. We're gonna go for that flush cheek look since it's perfect for a summer look. Then with a deeper coral shade, this is also from Everblena in the shade Everyday, I apply it on the center of the blush. I'm creating like a watercolor effect blush. The middle is more pigmented, then the edges are soft. For the highlight, I'm using this highlighter from Everblena in the shade Strobe. I'm gonna apply that on the high points of my face. This highlighter is good for its price, but it's a little too chalky, but I'm fine with it overall. You may skip this part if you're not a fan of the faux freckled look, but as for me, I love it so much. I think freckles are cute, so I'm gonna draw little dots using the same brown marker from NYX. Don't do similar size of dots and not just dots, you can also add ones with slight smudges. Then with brown eyeshadow shade, soften the other dots you've created with the marker. This will give more variety of texture onto it. My face is getting cakey so I sprayed it with a setting spray but it still looks cakey. I think I was right about the infallible pro matte. It seems too drying for me so yeah, please excuse the cakiness. Moving on to the lips, I'm gonna outline every Belena lip liner in the shade Sexy Nude. Then I apply Ofra's liquid lipstick in the shade Daytona Bitch. We're gonna apply that on the inner part of the lips for a gradient effect. Then blend the edges out with your finger. I want my lips to be more orange, so I apply LA Girls Matte Lipstick in the shade Stunner onto the innermost corner of my lips. Now blend the edges. And we're done with the look! You're now ready to be the cutest darling on your hashtag summer vacation. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this tutorial, then please don't forget to subscribe to Becomey YouTube channel and to my channel, Trisha Denise Montero. And that's pretty much it. Have a nice summer. Bye-bye.